Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Malcolm and Marie. New movie out on Netflix, written and directed by Sam Levinson, the creator of one of my favorite shows, Euphoria. One of the most beautifully shot and written uh, performances are amazing. Uh, we're just one of the best shows. Uh, starring uh, D- John David Washington and Zendaya, uh, two actors that uh, just blow it out of the park, I think. It's a movie that hinges... Uh, squarely on their performances. There are basically three characters. That, well, four. Uh, you got them. You got the setting, I guess, which isn't really a, a character, but uh, the setting of this house and uh, the camera. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's basically an argument. An argument. They're getting home. The premise. They're getting home from uh, Malcolm's premiere of this movie he's super proud of. Kind of like his his you know the the first time he was able to kind of do his own thing uh, means a lot to him. Uh, and then uh, Marie, his girlfriend, uh, you know they're getting home from uh, the premiere and they're having an argument. He forgets to thank her during his speech, and that's where the argument starts. And throughout this film, slowly the layers of the argument kind of get exposed and you see more and more of the truth and uh it's arguments that i've had in relationships like i was this is one of those movies that i was immediately sucked in not only because the cinematography is gorgeous the way this movie is shot is gorgeous the people acting in this film are gorgeous uh but you know the the simplicity of it all and also the uncomfortableness of uh, just kind of listening to two people argue, but uh, it was done in a. It, it, I thought I think it was done in a good way because there's so much of back and forth because you know you you hear one side of the argument, then you hear the other side of the argument. Throughout this whole movie, my opinion uh, of what they're arguing about changes. It evolves. I'm on his side. I'm on her side. And I'm a little biased. I mean, this is basically a movie about an artist and his muse, you know, which is uh, just a simple, beautiful premise. It's something that I can understand. I've never really had a a girlfriend that was necessarily a muse, as I am not necessarily, I'm not a storyteller, I'm not a director. Uh, Having a person be kind of that that inspiration to write something uh, or to take a story from, uh, not necessarily something, but I have had women that have uh, inspired me and motivated me uh, in in kind of that way. Uh, or, you know, not even more inspiration, not, not necessarily motivation, but inspired. Or uh, gave me a comfort to experiment and grow. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, where he, she is, she is more of the truth teller and he is more of the storyteller. He, t- he tends to exaggerate and kind of frame things in a way that are that are more uh you know more advantageous for him uh versus her she tends to call him out on his shit which i enjoy i enjoy that combination of people you know i've seen that i see that specifically just off the top of my head an artist and the muse uh you got burt kreischer and his wife i mean his family in general he, the, his family inspires most of his comedy. He is very much a storyteller, not only the style of his comedy, but in you know on podcasts he he's he always likes to exaggerate and kind of uh, you know make things a lot more flowery and uh, you know kind of tries to improve the narrative of the story he's telling. Versus his wife, when she's on podcasts, you get to the 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 reality of the situation, which I enjoy. I enjoy that balance. Uh, I hate people. I hate seeing friends. I have friends who are the truth teller and then they're, they are in a relationship with the storyteller and it's, it's, uh, painful to see them constantly like act a little bit different, more of, you know, pathological liars, but there is a kind of a gradient scale when it comes to that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, the just beautiful performances, the argument, like I said, 
uh, kind of grows, so it doesn't seem like they're just going in circles necessarily. And then all of this, like halfway through this film, all the energy changes between them attacking each other. They kind of find uh, a mutual, not really, she doesn't really go in as much, but the energy changes from going at each other to going at a reporter uh, that like he... He gets. He hears about this. Uh, the first first article to come out about his movie, and it's an article that is interesting. It's an it's an article that he he's angry about, even though it it's complimentary. Now, as somebody in myself who I've shown my paintings to, I've done uh, art shows in the past, and listening to how people receive. And how people kind of uh, assume or or kind of bring their baggage to a, a piece, and to kind of assume that's where I was coming from when making it. It's unnerving. It's unnerving for people to assume my thought process of doing something based on them just seeing a piece of work that I've done, and uh, that's what he. I mean, the anger. I mean, he's already in that anger moment. They're home. They're they're partying. He's drinking. He's happy that he you know this this uh, premiere went well, even though he's having an argument. He's he comes home in a good mood, and she comes home angry because he didn't give her any credit. Which during the argument, you you realize that he how much of a muse she was. That how much of this story, this movie that he made, that he wrote and directed, comes from her life. Uh, and then there's other parts where he kind of tries to downplay uh, the inspiration she had in his work. Uh, but yeah, you see all that that momentum and that anger shift towards the reporter, which uh, I t- I could totally like. You know, it was a a, a really fun scene. Like I, I enjoy listening to people talk shit, and he's talking a lot of shit about this reporter and the way the scene is it's just like there's so many just locked off shots that look so beautiful and he's like going in and outside of this house kind of just going on his rant and uh i enjoyed it i i I agreed with a lot of it it's it's really interesting how like in the the article it's it's a white reporter and she's trying to even though she says the the movie is like amazing or whatever uh, she goes in and kind of criticizes some of the uh, some of the kind of uh, things in which how he says things, kind of the male gazey thing, uh, or the you know kind of subverting, uh, kind of the you know this kind of implementing woke culture in reviewing of movies or in in dissecting of art, and just before that scene you see Marie come out and she's wearing just a, a white tank top and her nipples are popped out. And like the whole time, like now, I mean, even culturally, we're all, I think more aware, we're more woke as far as, you know, the different things that kind of stand out as far as being, uh, you know, misogynistic or racist or the whole male gazy kind of a thing. Um, and right after that, part of that argument was this scene in the movie where, there's uh, uh, a character is naked and you know or topless at least and it brings up that whole male gaze. It, the, a lot of the arguments seem to be commenting on stuff that we had just seen in the movie that we're watching. There was a lot of meta in the argument, and then there's also apparently Sam Sam Levinson has received criticism. I think the only person to criticize him uh, was a white reporter in L.A., so it may have been. Uh, in addition to all of the other things he was talking about, but it could have also been a slight, uh, you know, slight jab at that person as well, which I have no problem with artists talking shit about critics. Critics, I mean, even though I talk about films, I can I can talk about art. Like m- my my opinion of art and film and things is just my opinion. I'm not I'm not. There's no good. There's no bad. Art is subjective. And, and a lot of critics really get on their high horse about their opinions as if it, you know, as if they're doing something important for our culture. But they're just people that have never done the thing. Like, they're people that don't create art. They don't know what it's like to create art. They don't know the, the, the constant doubt 
that you have when you create the constant second guessing you have the constant like you when you're creating something especially like a movie you're like you you have to put a ton of work and a ton of money other people's money in a lot of instances into this giant project that you only have a certain amount of control over and you're putting all of that effort into this thing that you really care about and you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know how it's going to be received. It's extremely stressful to be putting, you know, all of who you are into something. And then for other people who've never done anything in their life, they've never taken the chance. They've never taken that step. They've never been on a journey like that. Maybe some have. They they dabbled. They tried it out once or twice. Um, but they don't know what it's like to be that day in and day out. And then you have to listen to, as an artist, you have to listen to those people like just effortlessly dissect, you know, their assumptions of who you are and what you make, uh, which I I felt this movie had so much of that. I felt this movie really spoke to me as an artist. Uh, it was amazing to watch visually. Their arguments are amazing. The, the way the story unfolds and the way the story ends and just how everything is shown visually on the in the, like the composition this high contrast compositions of these this film is amazing just so much of it so much of this movie is amazing there's also in in the midst of the argument almost like to kind of slow down the pace kind of give you know kind of t- take a break a little breather from the the angry arguments uh there's like the argument basically continues within music that the characters play uh, like he he apologizes through playing this song and it's just like a weak apology and she calls him out on it. So then she plays her song to kind of talk shit back to him. So it's like even in the musical moments of this film, they're arguing, uh, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed the complexity of this film, the acting, the writing. I think Sam Levinson's amazing. Uh, if you haven't watched Euphoria, it's amazing. Uh, Zendaya is just she's going to have an amazing career. Hopefully she doesn't fall into the trap of drugs and partying and all that stuff. Uh, and John David Washington, uh, amazing performance as well. I mean, top to bottom, one of my favorite films of the year so far, the white tiger and Malcolm and Marie are, are in, in the top two. And I don't know which ones I, this one might be my favorite film so far of the year. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, and also, I mean, it, it, it had, there's a, a hilarious moment where she, <clears throat> this moment with, I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say Zendaya is holding a knife. Marie is holding a knife and, uh, she starts saying some stuff and, uh, it, 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 it turns a corner and it ends up being, I mean, I guess it's, it could be a spoiler in some ways, but let's just say this movie has terror moments not a lot i mean there's obviously anger there's obviously love and and passion terror and hilarious like there's a moment in this film that i laugh out loud i laugh out loud and movies don't make me laugh out loud and it wasn't it was just a comedic moment in the middle of the chaos and uh it was well placed and uh well deserved because it was it was giving one of the characters uh was just given his comeuppance and uh it 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 was hilarious and uh i really enjoy this movie so check it out malcolm and marie it's on netflix probably my favorite movie of the year make sure you support our sponsor ting that cell phone service at a reasonable price get yourself 25 dollars in credit either to apply to a new phone or your monthly bill it's the best coverage same low rates now with three coast-to-coast networks go through my link inspiredisorder.com slash ting and get yourself 25 dollars in credit new episodes of the ray taylor show come out every single day subscribe on igtv youtube and everywhere else podcasts are found binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder buy ray taylor show merch over at inspired disorder.com and follow the show on Instagram, at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!